Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Welcome back. You found Daily Dose Radio, five minutes a day, five days a week. We're studying the Psalms verse by verse, and today we're in Psalm 135. We're going to look at verses five and six today. So have your Bible out. You want to get those read in. I'm going to read my translation here in just a second. Yesterday we began talking about the description that the psalmist gives the Lord. So we're going to continue that today. In verses 5 and 6, we're going to see two more descriptive things about the Lord. First two were he's good. And the second of the two in verses verses 3 and 4, he chooses. He chose Jacob for himself. Now today we're going to do 3 and 4, which will be in verses 5 and 6. Let me read those for you. For I, even I, know that the Lord is great, and our Lord more than all the gods. All that the Lord pleases, He does in the heavens and in the earth, in the seas and in all deeps, the deep places of the earth. Well, today we're looking at uh, these two things. We're going to add two more things to our list here. So I said yesterday we talked about him being good and him, his, his uh, ability to choose. He chose Jacob for himself. Today, look at verse 5. For I, even I, know that the Lord is great. Here we have again the noun and the predicate. The Lord is great. So his greatness is described. And notice how the psalmist couches his greatness. He is great. Our Lord more than all the gods. So look about at all the different idols that are worshipped today. Look at all the different things that are worshipped as God today. Well, our Lord is greater than that. And also notice here how we have this very personal statement, our. We had it up in verse 2 in the courts of the house of our God. But now I want you to notice that it's right here in verse 5. This pronoun for the third plural, our, our Lord more than all the gods. So it's a a very personal statement. And remember that when covenant was cut with Israel, the Lord said, you know, now I'm going to be your God and you're going to be my people. So there's this intimate relationship that is created when God enters into relationship with us. And so the psalmist reflects that right here. You know, it's almost like um, a child saying about his father, you know, my dad's the strongest guy on the block. He can beat up anybody else's dad. (laughs) You know, I mean, that's very childish, but, you know, you, you, you relate to that. Well, here the psalmist is saying, I even I know. So he points to himself. I I know this. The Lord is great. And our Lord. So now it's not just. Me, it's not the I any longer, the first person, but now he includes the whole community, our Lord more than all the gods. Because, see, there is no other God but him. He's the only one. And then that's the third thing about the Lord that we're told here in this psalm. The fourth thing is comes in verse 6. All that the Lord pleases he does in heaven, in the heavens and in the earth, in the sea and in all deeps. So the Lord's doing as he pleases. What does that tell us about the Lord? Well, it tells us that he's sovereign. He doesn't have to check with anybody. He doesn't have to check with you, and he doesn't have to check with me. He's the one who's in charge. He's God. He's great, and he's capable of taking care of all of this on his own. So the Lord is doing as he pleases, and he does it in heaven. He does it in earth. He does it in the sea, in all the deep places of the world. So he kind of covers the entire gamut of the spectrum of creation, heavens, the earth, the sea, and the deeps. So the deeps are those deep places in the earth that we're told that, you know, even the Lord is there. His spirit is even there. The, those deep places under the earth where we don't know what, what's there because we've never been there, but we know they exist from the very highest height to the very lowest place that we could possibly imagine in creation. God does as he pleases, and he does as he pleases in our life as well. Join me again tomorrow. We're going to look at verses 7 and 8 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. 
The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.